nothing turns out to be very interesting. Because how they get a universe from nothing is by redefining nothing. It's very hard to believe this, but Lawrence Krauss in his book A Universe From Nothing tells us fairly early on. He says this, because something is physical, nothing much must be physical, especially if you define it as the absence of something. That is absolute foolish absurdity. Now, if you have to go to that extreme to get rid of God, you're not getting rid of God at all. You're not getting a universe from nothing. So you're failing spectacularly to solve the problem that Hawking and Krauss set up for themselves at the beginning of their books. And that is Leibniz's question. Why is there something rather than nothing? <laughs>